Daniel. I'm Vadim. And I'm Francois. Our mechanism is a precision pizza cutter for pizza parlors. It is designed to cut pizza quickly, safely, precisely, and with repeatability. The working principle of our mechanism is that we are using a watt six bar linkage, which simply consists of a four bar with a driver dad crank attached to it. As you can see in our mechanism, we have a handle which is rigidly TIG welded to the driver dad crank. This crank assembly actuates the four bar linkage. This link is the input to the four bar. The blade functions as the coupler to the four bar linkage. And this is the output link. These are three kinematic design specifications. The blade must rotate through 18 degrees while remaining tangent to the support deck. The input link must be able to rotate through a complete 360 degree turn. The angular acceleration of the pizza platform may not exceed 41.9 radians per second squared. With the results obtained from the graphical synthesis, the Grashof conditions was used using the Grashof equation. To ensure the blade rotates through 18 degrees and stays tangent to the pizza, an analytical position synthesis was used. The theta 4 versus theta 2 plot verifies this design specification. Observe the difference between the minimum and maximum value of theta 4. For the force analysis, the main interest or software variable in the mechanism is the force acting up on the blade. Finding the normal force would ensure that the mechanism would cut through the pizza. To set up the force analysis, each of the links must be properly drawn as free body diagrams. The links provided enough information to set up moment and force equations. The total number of equations came out to 9, thus 9 equations and 9 unknowns. From this information, a 9 by 9 matrix was set up. The matrix then allowed us to solve for the normal force acting on the blade. An experiment was conducted to ensure the calculated value matched a realistic measurement. A blade 30 thousand thickness was used to press down on a slice of pizza placed over a scale. An average force of 20 pounds was recorded in order to cut through the particular slice. For our stress analysis, it was determined that the most vulnerable location for failure was at the handle base, which is subjected to bending, torsion, and transverse loading. Two stress elements were selected to be analyzed one of which was located on top of the handle and the other on the side. After calculating the principal stresses on these elements, the von Mises effective stress was found and compared to the tensile yield strength of 6061 T6 aluminum alloy, which is 35 kips per square inch. The effective von Mises stress was 4,410 pounds per square inch. Element A had a safety factor of 8.3, while element B had a safety factor of 14.9. A slight modification was suggested that the handle diameter be reduced to three quarters of an inch so that the safety factor would be greater than one, but manufacturing would be cheaper.